Azura has seen your coming, Traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. This shrine was built by the Dunma. As our land was scorched by fire and brimstone, Azura's prophecies led us to safety. She is a Daedra, a powerful being who watches from beyond our mortal plane. She has chosen you to be her champion. You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. She is the goddess of dawn and dusk. Azura sees into the twilight of the future and guides her followers through it. Twilight, guide your path. Sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. My days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay close by. Even Ranmere don't so much. Let's just keep an eye on the supply. Dagor and I have an understanding. He gives me privacy, and I make sure my experiments don't blow up his inn. Yes? Who sent you? Was it the college? The Jarl? We agreed there would be no more questions. You're working with the Daedra? Right. Now tell me the one about the Argonian maid and the lusty baron. A few coins for my soul, if only you understood the irony. What do you know about soul gems? They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail, except for one. Azura's Star, a Daedrit artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Some of us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, become immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Illinolta's deep and vanished. Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azura. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. 
I mentioned how the star is a soul gem, only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before... Well, I already told you. Azora is no ordinary Daedra. She commands an entire realm inside of Oblivion. The more Malin worked on the star, the more she was able to damn him. It started slowly at first. Malin would see things that weren't there. Then he would yell at students over words they hadn't said. Then one day I walked in and Malin had killed a student, and in a horrific moment of inspiration, he started using her soul for his work. The college would agree with you, but do you have any idea how many innocent lives were cut short just so Azura could have revenge? We're nothing to the Daedra. Pawns to move around, praise and punish as they see fit. Mm-hmm.
children away from the disaster of Vardenfell. You are the prophet that reveals our true future. Azura Star! I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. 
I will commune with Azura. Azura, mother of roses, goddess. Your chosen champion has returned your star to you. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the altar and you will hear her voice. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malin Varan. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting... hungry. Why? There's something different about you. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. Purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight.